All right, so I have my two pieces. I'm gonna put the good side in the inside, line up my edges, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and sew, starting here, I'm gonna sew on down the outside. Doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just gonna do my very best. Make sure I don't have anything left over. The other thing I need to do is I need to sew my edges here. If I don't sew these, when after a couple washes it'll start to fray. So just a little doesn't have to be a lot. Um, just recording it and talking my way through it. Cut down. Do the same thing on this side. So I've done all the seams that I would need on that. Oops. Tie it again. So now what I have is I'm gonna take this good looking side and I'm gonna match it up with this good looking side. So I've already done one before. I'm gonna fold it in and basically just nestle it inside of the other. I can I gotta make sure that my that my lines match up if they don't line up it's not gonna look correct so nice and straight pull it up lay it on in the inside the good sides are all on the both on the inside straighten it up so now I'm not gonna sew down my middle what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew across my top I'm going to make sure these are lined up. Alright. And so I'm just going to go up to the nose and then I'll turn it. I just follow that line on up. And then when I get there, turn it. I might be a little off, that's okay. As long as I get all the top. Perfect. I'm going to line up my bottom. I'm just going to turn it and I'm just going to keep going. Trying to make sure it's nice and straight. All right, last part I need to do is put in my ties. Okay. I'm gonna clip some of these pieces. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna back this up a little bit. And so I don't have to undo a whole bunch of things. I don't have to untie it. I just need enough room to work in. All right, perfect. This is in my top, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put one here and then one about here. And so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tuck this inside. One will go up there. Other one. I want the rest of the tie buried in there so I don't accidentally sew over it. I'm trouble there for a second. Get it about midway. Okay. So now I know my tie is there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my fabric up to that point. Then I'm going to back it up over it. Go in and trim that. And then I'm just gonna sew all the way through. And then back it up over that spot. 
It needs a little bit of reinforcement, not a lot, but just enough to hold it in. Okay, and then I do the same thing on this side. Take my two pieces, tuck it in. One at the top, one at the midpoint. Got it. Perfect. So I'll just sew into it. Go back over again. Make sure it's reinforced. Perfect. And then I've got one in the midpoint. And I'm going to sew up to this point, back up, and then take it off. Let me show you. Backing it up. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. My apologies on that. And then there we go. So then I just take this off, pop it off, cut it. I've got all of this tie on the inside. And the reason I didn't sew all the way down is because I just need enough of a hole to turn this thing inside out. So a little challenging so you want just enough room where you can force the rest of it through but what it's going to do is it's going to hide all of those seams so when I pull this back out then I've got my mask I'm not sewing down the center at all I sewed just the inside of it and that's what gets it a nice crisp look so it's got two sides, I've got the dancing girls, and then I've got a yellow side. So let me put this on, I'll show you what it looks like. I've got to make sure I pull down my corners. And then, there you go. 